This demonstration is for a test your guts, grace, and precision on skis. Strive for a performance of athletic artistry as you flip through the air in a dazzling series of daredevil moves. Press the fire button to start a jump. Press the joystick in one of the six directions to begin movement. To do one move after another, move the joystick when the hot dog skier is in mid-air. Timing is crucial. To get out of a move or begin another move, push your joystick to the center land position. Hold each movement except the flips until you choose a different move. Go into the landing position before you hit the ground. Like, does this really need to be this complicated? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Winter Level Wonderlands. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're checking out Winter Games on the Commodore 64. For those of you who've been watching my Let's Play 1001 game series, you will know that Winter Games here is the notorious sequel to Summer Games 2. Actually, it's not a notorious sequel. It's the sequel to the notorious game, Summer Games. Actually, I think it's a sequel to Summer Games 1. I only played Summer Games 2. Long story short... This is what a lot of the uh, summer games was like. Staring at the seizure-inducing load screens. Winter Games by Action Graphics. Epics Presents. So Epics is a company that produced all these Winter Games games. They also produced summer games, California games, world games. Also games like Chips Challenge, Impossible Mission, Rogue, if you ever heard of Rogue. They also made the Atari Lynx, believe it or not. The Atari Lynx actually was not a system developed by Atari, weirdly enough. I never knew this till I looked up uh, information for this game. But the Atari Lynx was developed by Epix, and Epix uh, fell on hard financial times. They decided to uh, license it to Atari. So go figure, the Atari Lynx is actually the Epix system. So there you go. Anyway, uh, Winter Games here is obviously a winter-themed uh, sort of Olympic-style uh, video game, and I wanted to uh, play it. Uh, best part of my Winter Wonderlands uh, series. And so I've tortured you guys enough with these load screens. This game, along with Summer Games, is notorious, notorious for having these terribly long load screens. Uh, but with the uh, magic of uh, the winter season among us, uh, or upon us, I'm going to use that to edit out all this, this crappy load time. So without further ado, here we go into the game! <laughs> Ta-da! We are now on the opening title sequence of Winter Games. Yes, it took a couple minutes to load this game, and all we get is a title sequence. If I press a button here, we're going back to a load screen. So, uh, this is the exact same uh, problem, by the way, they had in Summer Games too. It blows my mind, like, what programmer was developing this game was like, Ah, oh, yes! 50 minutes of load time to get through one sequence of 10 minutes of gameplay. Ship it! You know, like, who thought this was a good idea? I guess this was revolutionary for its time. Look at that digital fire burn with doves flying off. I guess maybe they're seagulls or whatever. Um, it is definitely winter-themed. So, uh, yeah, if I press a button here on the joystick, then we are treated to more load screen. All right, and here we go. So we are now in the main menu screen. I'm going to go ahead and change this to one joystick. If you go to see the world records, I am afraid it will go to a load screen. So we're just going to carry on here. Practice all events or compete in all events. Well, the load times are the same, so why the heck would we ever want to practice? Let's just go ahead and compete. Enter your name. Uh, J. Sure. Actually, can we be like something more festive? Like what about Xmas J? Yeah, there we go. Holiday, Jay. We get to pick our country. It can be USA, France, Great Britain, Germany, Austria, Italy. Man, look at all the flags they inserted here. We can be the USSR. Do, 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 do. Um, we could also be the country of epics. Hmm. We're totally going for Canada, though. We got to represent, guys. I'm Canadian. Oh, yeah. Hear that. It, like, brings me back to, like, uh, standing for the National Anthem when I was a kid in school. I haven't done that in years. Um, is he just going to play the whole National Anthem? Oh, wait, Player 2. Player 2? Um, how about not Jay? I don't know who this Player 2 person is. Let's make them USSR. Let's Canada versus Russia. Oh, we can't skip the theme song. The theme song, it was cute once for Canada. <laughs> We're going to have to listen through every theme song from every country in the world here. Oh my god, player three. Wait, 
Wait, wait, wait. Okay, maybe we do want to go and practice. All right, this time we're going to go and practice all the events. Our first event is the traditional event known as Hot Dog. All right, here we are with Hot Dog, and here's how we do it. Hit, hoo, ha, hoo. <laughs> and we just go face down into the snow. Okay, I think the trick is you got to, like, try and do, like, a couple of stunts and then just let yourself land. Boom! We got some scores! 4.8, 4.9, 5.0. Let's do this again. All right, so as long as you don't get too fancy with it. There we go. We're getting into the 6 range. Let's try this again. Hey, oh, ah, go! He definitely wiped out. All right, well, this is... This is hot dog, if you guys know, the famous Olympic sport known as hot dog. Stands for hot dog aerials. Um, and it's just a lot of this, a guy flying through the sky trying to make himself look like the most delicious Oscar Mayer wiener you have ever seen. This event, of course, is sponsored by Oscar Mayer wiener and Walmart. Shop at the Mart. Boom. All right, so our high score is 5.9. I guess we could continue to practice this. Uh, maybe like one more for the road. Hey, yeah, oh, you ever see a wiener do this? Boom! Oh, face down in the snow. All right, well he's dead. Let's uh, let's go on to the next event and see what the next event has in store, guys. Back to the load screen. All right, here we go. This is cross country skiing, and let's see how do we do this. You gotta time it left and right. Oh, look, at we're going through some, like, really lovely scenery here. Look at this. Look at this beautiful scenery. How do, how do you get the... There we go. Go downhill. Go downhill. There we go. I'm, I'm not very good at the controls, but you guys can just be awed by the majesty of, the, of uh, what's going on behind us. There. Pretty slow at this, but th these look like Bob Ross paintings, actually. Like, th this scenery looks very lovely. Uh, makes me want to go do some outdoor winter activities. Huh, 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 huh. Do your thing, buddy. Do your thing. Or do nothing. Nothing is also an option, apparently. So I guess there's only three th three screens that we have to, like, get through. I'm, like, wiggling the joystick as fast as I can. This part is really easy. You just have to time it. As I, as I start to do really terribly at it, I'm like, this part's easy. Like, get over the bridge. Get over the bridge. Get over the bridge. All you have to do is move the joystick back left and right. Well, I can't get him to do it at the right time. My pulse is up. Is this a good pulse for exercising? Oh, he's so slow. He's just, he is odd by the majesty. Oh, and now we have to shoot. Um, how do you, how do you actually shoot though? Okay, we missed that one. Oh, this is that uh, like biathlon. What a weird sport the biathlon is where you're like cross country skiing and then you just like pull out a shotgun and like go to town on some targets. Why won't he shoot? the? The button's not doing anything. Bolt's open, loaded. Boom. Oh, we you gotta use the joystick to like load it? Interesting. Boom. Okay, so we just have it's just about doing this as fast as possible. And back to skiing. He's like, I skied up and shot those things that you guys wanted shot. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, I guess it's up and down to use the uh sticks. How do we do this? Like this, like this. I, I think I'm getting it. The controls are so wonky, it's really hard to describe. So one thing about the games game series, like summer games, world games, California games, uh, winter games here, is that they have horrible controls. I'm sorry, for anyone who likes these games, I don't know, you must, you must have grown up with it and like your brain has adapted. But like honestly, for someone who's never played these games before, if a, if a new person goes to try this game, they're just going to be totally put off by the controls. They're just like very unusual and weird and they're hard to like get the hang of. So you can still like this game. I'm not saying that you shouldn't like this game, but just, you know, you got to you got to be honest with yourself and admit that uh, the controls for this game aren't very good. <laughs> so, uh, I guess he just skates around these like three zones over and over until forever like what happens? Like, at some point, have I killed enough targets that he's, like, ready to, like, sleep at night? Or... Because I... I... We're, we're just practicing, right? Like, does this practice event go on forever? Okay, here we go. We're going to load. Here we go. Boom. Missed. <laughs> Man, that first time, I hit, like, all of them. Oh, missed that one, too. 
Got that one. Missed that one. Oh man, I'm only getting like two out of three now. Or two out of five. It's even worse than two out of three. But uh, I was hoping that we would get to this event because in the spirit of my Winter Level Wonderland series here where I'm playing through a bunch of wintry games uh, around Christmas time here, um, I wanted specifically to be playing games... Oh god, he's get he gets like slower and slower here. Like I, I don't understand what's wrong. Is his heart beating too hard? There we go. Maybe his pulse was just too high. But in the spirit of like playing these wintry games, like uh this this is the one mini game within winter games that like made it convinced me to give this whole game series another try and like play this game. Man, he sucks! Move forward! Okay, here we go. Like it's so easy to get him to go downhill. But for some reason, he's, like, getting worse and worse at going left and right. Go, 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 go! Oh, God, again. <laughs> How do we skip this? Is there any way to skip to the next event? I don't understand. <laughs> okay, one more one more shot here, and then if it doesn't end, I don't know, we'll have to look up the instructions how to skip this event. Oh, my God, I'm missing everything. Oh, my God, this is the worst. Oh, he's missing everything. Oh, I missed everything! <laughs> He's just a, he's just skiing away in shame. He's like, I hope no one was around to see that one, because that was really embarrassing. So we can just like do this. Maybe I'm just not doing fast enough. Oh, we did reach the finish line. Okay, total ski time was four minutes, twelve misses in in by five seconds. I don't know what that means. Oh, I guess for every miss it adds time. All right, well that was our biathlon. That was our attempt to ski and shoot at the same time. Let's see what else this game has to feature. Man, I imagine if you were kids and you owned like a Commodore 64, as soon as you went to like load the next game, like you guys, you would have to be playing with friends in a basement, have like a board game going in the side. Like you're playing a game of Monopoly and just whenever the Commodore happens to load a game, then you all stop and you take turns playing the Commodore and then you hit go for like the next event to load and you all go back to Monopoly for like 20 minutes. I guess if you were adults, you'd just be drinking or something like that, but... Man, like, this is crazy. Like, there's no way. Like, a single person... Like, like these days when people play video games, they literally load up a game, they sit in front of the TV, and they play it. You couldn't do that. Like, look, all that load time just to get to the menu screen to tell me that the next event is speed skating, and then back to more load time. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, at least the load screen looks a little festive, though, in its colors, right? I mean, you got to find the silver lining somewhere, guys. Okay, here is an event. This this is speed skating. It looks like the like raft game in Summer Games 2 that I was terrible at. So I'm pretty sure I press the button and I move the joystick left and right as fast as I can and try and beat the computer. Um, here we go. Let's do this. Two, go! Okay, or maybe you just... Oh no, oh no. <laughs> the computer is kicking my butt. And he's not even going that fast. Look how... Look how slow the computer is going. Okay, here we go. We're getting the hang of it. We're getting the hang of it. Oh my god, the computer was like going so slow and he was like kicking my butt. All right, there we go. I feel like some of these winter games are just reskins of summer games. So like, I don't know. I don't know if you own summer games, like if you really need to invest in winter games here. Oh god, we're losing it. Come on, come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. I guess you got to like time it right. This game is like weirdly about doing it fast, but also timing. It's really hard to describe. I totally lost there. That's okay. That that same thing happened to me when we played in summer games. You know what, guys? I'm not really good at skating in real life anyway, so we're going to go ahead and pretend this didn't happen either. On to the load screen to tell us what the next game is before we get to the load screen for that one. Next event, guys, is figure skating. They at least have the courtesy to start off every event by by waiting till you press a button because you know what they knew they knew that as soon as that load screen went people are going to go to the bathroom they're going to make sandwiches they're going to like go run their like daily errands go shopping come back and then they have to press a button to start the event so here we go with figure skating let's look up the rules really quickly for this one of course not that looking up these rules would really help anything uh, figure skating is a one or short program. Okay. It's a one minute timed exercise of seven compulsory movements. Camel spin, sit spin, double axle jump, triple axle jump, double lutz jump, triple lutz jump, and camel 
and sit into sit spin. You can perform the seven moves in any order you choose. It's the grace and form of your skating that counts. Press the fire button to start skating. To begin a movement, point the, direct, the joystick in the direction of the movement you want to make and press fire. To complete a movement, center the joystick and press fire. To skate backwards, center the joystick and press fire. Okay, so we just point in a direction, press fire, then we center and press fire. Oh, this, this could be far more easy than we think. All right, let's give this a shot. Here we go. You guys ready to see some skating prowess? Do do do, do do do, do do do. Oh, she fell. Do do do. What? She fell. Do do do. Why does she keep falling? I'm so confused. Okay, here we go. Hey oh! And we did it! Oh yeah. Oh, but she fell. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, hey oh! Okay, that doesn't work. I'm, I'm, I'm confused here. Some of the moves she does. Boom! Easy. But other moves it's like she just like has no hope of doing. Okay, this one she can also do. Okay. Now we do this one. Oh yeah, okay, I'm getting it. So, okay, if you... If you want to be... If you want to do a move that requires you to like jump forward you have to be facing forward. So we do like this and like this. Boom, okay. It's kinda, it's kinda wonky, but like I could see getting the hang of this. Man, I feel like, I, I feel like I'm rocking this one. Who knew there was a figure skater in me this whole time, guys? I feel like I'm discovering a part of myself with you guys. Oh, and I fell on my ass right at the end. <laughs> yes, 1.1, one one. oh, oh, that's a terrible score. That is a horrible score. Um, we're just going to pretend that didn't happen. Maybe there's not a figure skater in me after all, guys. <laughs> On to the next Xmas miracle. By the way, here are the figure skating tips. Movements can be a movement will be judged as elegant or awkward depending on when you press the fire button. If you're skating forward and trigger a jump when the skater's legs are in an open stride, you will your jump will be perfect. If the skater's legs are closed, the jump will be awkward. The opposite is true if you're skating backwards, triggering oh my god, like look how complicated this is. Don't fall down. You'll fall down if you try and move directly from a jump to a spin, a spin to a jump, a jump to another jump, or a sit spin to another camel spin. Skate backwards in between movements, skate forwards before you do an axle jump, camel and oh my like it's so complicated. What were they thinking? All right, here we go, guys. This one is ski jump. Let's quickly take a look at the instructions here. Okay, so press fire button to begin your approach. When you reach the takeoff point, press the fire button. Again, I guess. In the air, watch the upper right corner of the screen for faults, correct faults. Okay, so if you're bent, bent is up. Too far forward, move the joystick left. Too far back to the right, that's an automatic. Skis are down. So if we see a cross ski, press down, otherwise press up. All right, let's do this, guys. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, they're, they're cross, so press down. Okay, bent, we press up. Oh, and he wiped out. He is dead. He, oh God, he just like sails right into town like just a, a tattered corpse. I like this one. Let's try this one again. Okay, here we go, guys. Hey, oh, hey, oh. We don't want to be bent. We don't want to be... Oh, oh, he's leaning too far back. Too far forward. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, I feel like I could actually work with this one, though. Let's keep trying this. Here he goes. All right. Okay, he's bent. Up. Up. He's too far forward. And he's bent. Oh, he landed it. Yeah. Everyone cheers. All the girls come running up to him. I have 10 style points, ladies. Would you like to meet me? That's what he says, and then he goes and parties all night with them in the in the uh, chateau or whatever. I'll give that one one more shot. I actually kind of like this one. I feel like the other games are like too difficult and obscure, but like this one, it's like it's not bad. Uh, down, forward, down. Uh, okay, it's still hard. I will grant you that this one is still hard. But see, guys, I don't dislike things just because they're hard. I feel like legitimately this one actually has some controls where you can actually kind of figure it out. Like, okay, here we go. It's hard, but, ah, oh, he's not gonna make it. <laughs> I 
I wonder if this is the same guy. And he's just like, every time he wipes out in the snow, he's like, please, God, let this satisfy Jay. Jay's like, one more time, Roger. And he's like, oh, God, kill me. It hurts so bad. Oh, I just want to die. Existence is pain. I'm a Meeseeks. Oh, and he lands it. I keep bringing up Meeseeks, by the way. I have Meeseeks on the brain. Boom. Okay, we got two lands of this guy. Let's end on a high note. Let's see what other events we got going on, guys, in this winter level wonderland that is Winter Games. Next event is free skating, which I think is pretty much just skating, like the one we just did. They're kind of starting to recycle uh, recycle games here. <laughs> yeah, here we go. It's literally just skating again. So let's see if we can do this. Oh, boom. Okay, so we want to like skate when her legs are wide open, which sounds bad. So we want to do our jumps. Hey oh, there's like a delay when you press the button though. I'm gonna do this. And boom, that's gonna be a high jump. Kawango! Okay, well I'm not falling on my butt as much, which is good. Oh look at that! Holy crap! I didn't know I could do that. Man, we're actually gonna get a score this time, I think. Whoa! <laughs> I'm like genuinely impressed with myself. Oh, we have two minutes to fill. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh, no. Two minutes is too long for me to like not mess up. Like I'm definitely messing up within the two minute window. We do like this. We do like this. Okay, so you just do like a variety of these things. We got like a whole other minute to fill here. I, feel, I wonder if the judges know I'm just like killing time. They're like, she seems to just be doing the same thing over and over. Almost as if she has run out of material and is just trying to buy time until the end. And this, you're going to see how many of these jumps I can do. Ah, oh, okay, this is not going well now. I hope, hope we don't start losing all of our sweet points because we're falling on our butt a lot. I think you should get more point, points if you fall on your butt. It's not graceful, but I mean, doesn't it show, like... A perseverance doesn't show like the athletic athleticism to persevere even in like uh, you know in the odds of like a lot of danger or whatever I don't know we're gonna go into a jump that did not work oh, neither did that <laughs> all right we're, we're we've lost all our points Let's just keep doing these jumps these are like the safe ones that I know how to do Whoa. -yo. Do this one too. Give you another one of these. Is that what gets you off, judges? Is this, is this gonna do it for you? Is this what you like to see? Hey, oh, just me spinning around on the ice, flailing, unsure of what to do. I feel like skating backwards is a pretty impressive skill. Probably because I can't even skate forwards. Skating backwards is impressive. We're just gonna run out the clock here. Oh, I didn't even have my hand on the joystick. It just fell at the end for no reason. I guess she knows how my routines typically end. Okay, we doubled our score from last time. 3.2, play again. Dear God, no thank you. All right, I think this is one of the last events, bobsledding. Um, as we did before, in the interest of making sure we don't mess this up too bad, let's just go and take a quick look at the instructions here. Bobsled, prepare to careen down a track of solid ice while you crouch in, precise, in a precision-built machine of steel aluminum. <laughs> You'll fly around, hair-raising turns, then plummet down bumpy straightaways at speeds exceeding 90 miles per hour. Yo, that's enough to go back in time, man. Uh, press the fire button to begin the race. Move your joystick left and right to guide your sled. And steer hard to avoid capsizing. Okay, so the, the only hint is, ste is steer. All right, we got this. Let's do this. So we have our bobsled on the, um, on the right there. We have our top-down map on the left, and we have our time... Um, below us and this is basically it. this is like the most intuitive oh god we wiped out already what game over can we just flip that put that bitch on its side and keep going all right let's try and not fall over again it, every time I think of bobsledding I think of cool runnings that movie with John Candy about the Jamaican bobsled team I just cool runnings is like like I'm not a sports guy so it's like my only interaction with bobsledding was that movie I don't know, like, anything else about it, honestly. Um, okay, so we're just doing this. Just steering. Trying not to fall. And this is bobsledding, people. 
Okay. Uh, eh, you know what? We've seen it. It's just gonna be more me flipping out. So, I don't know. Like, is this it? Let's see. Let's see. Is there anything else left in the Winter Games? No. That's a little anticlimactic. But that's it. That's that's Winter Games for you people. Um, Winter Games here was one of the games I decided to play for my little series here, my Winter Level Wonderlands. And ultimately, I think that if you took the time to learn the controls for this game, um, I could see this game especially being fun with friends. So I, I definitely gave Summer Games 2 a hard time back when I played it. And I do still contend that Winter Games here, which is basically just Summer Games 2 but reskinned with some different events and so on, also has very cryptic and difficult to pick up controls. So to someone coming to play this game for the first time, it's going to be fairly frustrating and it may be so frustrating that you don't want to continue. But I do think that uh, even if you find the controls difficult, playing this with friends I could see being a pretty fun affair. Because, I mean, let's like think about it. Even when you play Mario Party, half the mini games in Mario Party, people don't know what the hell they're doing. And they're like really sloppy with the controls. And like people are like laughing and having fun. So I don't think this is as good as Mario Party. But I do think that there is something here. Um, you know, the controls were limited by when it came out. I don't think it's it, it entirely excuses the sort of ancient control scheme we have going on here but i'm just thinking like you know silver lining here i could i could see this game being fun especially watching your friends fail and so on so putting it in context of so when it came out and the challenges this game went through you know it had insanely long load times because that's just what the Commodore 64 did back then. So it's not like it was terribly unusual. The controls aren't my favorite, but I could see getting past it. Um, load times, I think, are a bigger problem where there's just nothing you can do about it. It's, uh, you know, this is the kind of game that, again, you should be playing with friends. And you should just be, like, you know, in some kind of, like, party sitch. Where, like, you guys are, like, uh, just, like, you know, having fun and maybe having a few drinks and chatting in between levels. And you're not too focused on the game. If the game is the sole focus of your gathering, there's going to be a lot of waiting. And you're pretty much just not going to want to play this game. So, you know. All in all, this game has some ups, has some downs. But you know what? It was a festive retro blast. And that was what we're going, uh, going after with these winter level wonderlands. So, in the spirit... In the spirit of the holiday season, let's give one cheer for Winter Games being uh, a, fet a festive old school game. So here's to you, you beautiful bastard, Winter Games. <laughs> Not you guys, the, the video game. Uh, but anyway, that's it for me today, guys. If you have enjoyed checking out this uh, this game, if you have enjoyed uh, this series, remember to like the video, remember to subscribe to the channel, remember to tell all your friends and family about me so that we can get even more retro fanatics watching and chatting and commenting. Um, and as always, I'd love to hear from you guys, so if you want to comment at all on the video, um, feel free to do so. And until next time, guys, you take care of yourselves, and I'll see you on the flip side. Alrighty. Peace. Uh... Uh, it's still going.